it's Kirsten. I thought I would do another video and this time I wanted to do it on how does this session even work. So my name is Kirsten Morley. I'm a certified emotion code and body code practitioner. Um, so basically what this is all about, um, some people are just like super curious but they just like don't want to ask so I'm just going to put this out there. What a session actually looks like. Okay. So um, a session typically lasts anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, usually 30 minutes because if I do it over the phone, um, we're actually kind of getting a little bit deeper into what the emotions are from and when they occur. Um, so the cool thing is, is that during a session, some people prefer to do it in person, but I actually prefer to do it remotely. So you can do it either or, it doesn't really matter, but um, we do it remotely or kind of from a distance and I will act as proxy for you. So I basically scooch my, slide over my subconscious and I will muscle test for you, okay? Um, so this is how the, the session pretty much goes, okay? So I ask your name. Um, your age just because so they can find out when things occurred um, and then we find out what pain you're having and then the pain level okay um, so like if you have on the scale of 1 to 10 how bad is this specific thing hurting so um, that's pretty and then then we release that using the governing margin ancient Chinese medicine the using the governing margin which is from the top of the lip all the way back down to your tailbone and then we swipe down three times for each emotion that's pretty much it okay we do that we identify we will identify and release anywhere from six um, to twelve emotions sometimes less sometimes more it just depends on what your body is ready for okay um, so here we go I am actually going to do a session on myself okay <laughs> on myself um, I don't have any physical pain. Actually, I kind of do, now that I think about it. My neck hurts at like a three, okay? Um, it's like my left, my left um, neck. It's not like a super painful, a super painful, um, it's not like a sharp pain, it's just kind of an ache, you know, like anywhere from like my neck, my neck, the bottom of my neck, and then the top of my shoulder, okay? So the cool thing is, um, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is how it goes. Okay, um, this is probably going to take about fifteen minutes ish. So before we get started, I like to ask for um, a moment of silence to connect to our higher power, which is God, Heavenly Father, or the universe, whichever one you decide. That's totally fine. So here we go. Oh, and we're asking for inspiration. I forgot to say that. Okay, so muscle testing. I already have a video about this, but um, this is yes and this is no. So this is pretty much what... You get the idea. Okay, so do I have a trapped emotion causing pain in my lower neck and upper shoulder? Yes. Is it coming? Coming even a two, four, six. High chain shock. Unworthy. Okay, so the first emotion that basically comes up is unworthy. So we're going to find out when this occurred. Um, sometimes this can be a little embarrassing for me, but I'm trying to be vulnerable enough with you guys that you can understand that this is kind of a normal thing to do. Some of the stuff we pull up is totally normal. Like They're normal feelings. It's normal to, to not feel worthy to have things. It's, it's normal to, to get a little angry, you know? But when it sticks around for way too long, then that cannot be normal. So it's good to let these energetic imbalances go. So, um, um, unworthy. Let's find out when this happened. Did this occur for the age of 10, 20, uh, for the age of 26, 5, 4, 3. So about the age of 23, I had the emotion. I felt the emotion of unworthy so deep that it got stuck inside of my body. And that can be in two different places. It's either in the area that the pain hurts, like the pain is, or it can be in one of your organs or in a different spot that's actually um, indirectly causing the pain, if that makes any sense. So, do we need to know more about this? No. 
So we use a magnet running over the governing meridian, which is from the top of the lip, all the way back down the tape, back down to the tailbone, and it's just an ancient Chinese medicine that we use. So we use a magnet, swiping one, two, and three, and we hold the intention to release that trapped emotion. Did we release that? Yes. Okay, so do I have another trapped emotion causing pain in this area? Yes, it's in column A and column B, you have two, four, six, worthless. So, um, when did this occur? It's age of 10, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17. So about the age of 17, I felt the emotion of worthless. Now, the crazy thing about this is the unworthy, I un I know what that's from. The, the worthless, I... Kind, I might know where it's from, but if you don't under, if you don't remember where, where this, what this is from, or whatever, the cool thing about this is that you are still going to get the healing from this. I am still going to heal from releasing this trapped emotion. Um, you can also absorb emotions from other people, so people you live next, you live with, um, people you're really close to, best friends, parents, spouses you name it, okay? Um, kids, so that's why a lot of kids actually become emotional sometimes at specific ages. So, we're just gonna release that. Did we release that? Yes, do I have another trapped emotion causing pain in this area? Yes, I can actually already start to feel it loosening up a tiny bit. So, let's just keep going and see how this works. So, do I have a trapped emotion causing pain in my neck? shoulder area. Yes, it's in column A, column B, four, six. Um, shame. So, these are some pretty low vibrations, which I'm really glad we're getting rid of. So, shame. When did this occur? For the age of 10, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. About the age of 16. Do we need to know more about this? No. Um, do I recognize this emotion? Maybe. Um, do I know exactly where it's from? Probably not. I mean, I could maybe think of one or two events, but it doesn't matter. Because the cool thing is, is that we're just going to release it. <sighs> Did we release that? Yes. This could also be from somebody else. So, you never know. Okay, do you... You're sorry, do you... Do I have another trapped emotion causing pain in my um, left shoulder neck area? Yes, it's in column A, even a two. Um, even or two, anxiety, spirit, disgust, nervousness, okay, nervousness, when did this occur, page 10, 20, 6, 5, 4, 3, so age 23, do I recognize this one, mm, probably not, I mean, actually, let's find this out, was this, did this have to do anything with family. No, did this have anything to do with um, my business? Yes. So I was doing uh, a network marketing business and I can remember getting nervous so many times doing like just going like going out of trying to be out of my comfort zone and it was very nerve wracking for me to do that just because like I always wanted to say the right things. I always wanted to do the right things. Um, say the right words, you know, you get what I'm saying. So, do we need to know more about this? No. So, actually, is that when it was? Yes. So, we're just going to release that. Did we release that? Yes. Do you, sorry, do I have another trapped emotion causing the pain in my shoulder neck area? Yes. It's in column A, you know, two, four. So, guilt. When did this occur? 10, 20, 20, 19, 18. So at the age of 18, I felt guilt. Um, do we need to know more about this? No. Did we release that? Yes. I don't... I don't know if I recognize this one, which is okay. Um, I might know what it's from. Is it from that? No. Is it from... Um, interesting. So I'm going to be really vulnerable with you here. Guilt at age 18. So I got married about the age of 18 and I felt guilty for my parents paying for my wedding. 
Is it from that? Yes. Okay, so we already released that, so let's move on. Do I have another trapped emotion causing pain in my um, in my left shoulder neck area? No. So I'm going to take some deep breaths. And then typically you want to kind of move it around. Kind of stretch it out a little bit. Actually, it feels a lot better. I can tell that there's still something there, which is okay. Um, oh, I forgot to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. So do I have a hidden trapped emotion? Yes. There are also hidden and inherited emotions that you need to get when you do this. So do I have another... What, what emotion is this? Is this in call name? Call B, you know, two, four, depression, depression. So the next one that comes up is panic, hidden panic. So when did this occur? 50, 10, 20, 26, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, age 21. Do you need to know more about this? No. I think I know what this is. Oh, uh, did we release that? Yes. Let's find out. So, um,. I'm going to be, again, very vulnerable here. So, was this when my um, husband quit his job? No, it's not. So, is it um, that he seems my, my baby? Did, was this mine? Yes, this was mine. So, I guess I'm not really sure what this is from. So, that's okay. So, do I have another trapped emotion um, causing the pain in my neck? in my shoulders no am i open for healing yes so i am still open for healing so is there a hidden inherited no so that is pretty much i will continue to going i will actually change the subject in which i want to do so there are so many things that you can do um as far as my shoulder and my neck it actually feels so much better uh, there are going to be two types of people you're either going to um recover or you're gonna feel the pain go from eight to like zero in like 15 minutes or it's going you're gonna feel the eight go to seven and then over time it's slowly going to get better for some people they don't notice the difference until maybe hours days weeks months later so there's those two types of people it's either really quick or it's gradually over time you'll start to feel better so um, for me, typically, I am the person that gets about halfway, and then I slowly get better over time. That's just how that's just how it is. And so, this one will probably turn from a, a one to a zero over the next couple days, and I won't even notice it. So, after a session, uh, I'm not going to continue just because um, I don't have any more physical pain, but. Um, there are other things you can actually work on. You can work on anxiety. Sorry, feeling anxious, feeling depressed, um, feeling, so you can do any mental PTSD. You can help with that feeling like you're just lifting, you're just feeling more relaxed, a lot more calm. Um, there are things you, work, you can work on, headaches, um, neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain, stomach pain, um, knee pain, hip pain, you, you name it pretty much anything okay um, night terrors you can also I personally can also if you do not have a practitioner I can also help you work on your kids I can work on your pets if they are if they bark like crazy when the doorbell rings there's probably an underlying issue there okay um, if your kids are having crazy out of the normal um, tantrums we can work on them too if they're wetting the bed if they are uh, let's see if they are having anxiety towards like separation anxiety or um night terrors or um you, like as a parent you know when something's wrong with your kid you know so if you um have things you need help with please um, please contact me. I would love to help you with that. Um, again, if you know somebody that could use this kind of type of healing, please share this with them. It would really help. Um, it would really, first of all, it would help them out. And second of all, the more people you send to me, the more people I can bless with this um, energy healing technique. So again, 
Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please share this on your wall. Um, do whatever it takes to, to share this with everybody and anybody you know. Um, I'm here to help as many people as I possibly can. Um, go check out my new website. It's uh, Lights in My Life Naturally at or sorry, lightinmylifenaturally.com. You can also email me lightinmylifenaturally at gmail.com. I don't think it's going to be backwards, but we're going to try this out, okay? Lighten my life naturally, okay? Um, again, please share this with everybody you know um, that could use this. Your grandma, she's feeling a little bit, um, um, a little bit frail. Um, share this with your coworkers that have been complaining to you. Um, you name it. So, thank you so much, you guys. Um, that's basically what a session looks like. If you have any questions, please email me. Please message me. Please get hold of me. I will be happy to help you. So, thank you so much. Bye.